I'm talking today about MS and memory loss. Um, a little bit of the cognitive function, but I'm going to save that for another video, but it'll be a little bit of that in here, which is your thinking. That's what cognitive function is. Um, but memory loss, uh, <clears throat> that is a major sign for MS. Um, what it is, is we get a lesion in that part of our brain, which causes us to lose memory, short-term memory. So basically, we could be holding a conversation with you and all of a sudden we just we don't remember what we've said we may say say the same thing to you a few times in a row and not remember that we just said it to you um another part of like with me with the memory what happened was that um my when i before i got diagnosed i was driving home from work one day um driving along a street that i take every single day um every every day you know monday through friday that was the road that i took to take to go to work and suddenly, um, I had no idea where I was. I had no idea where I was coming from. I had no idea what street I was on. I had no idea where I was going. I had no, no clue. No clue. Just completely, it was like momentary amnesia. Um, I had to pull over into a parking spot and sob my eyes out for, you know, five to ten minutes until my memory came back. And then suddenly it just came back and I knew where I was. I knew that I was on a road that I travel every day. I was headed home from work and it was just another ordinary day. Um, and that really was, that was hard. Um, that's scary. That's very scary to just suddenly not know, um, what's going on. Um, some of that was part of why I had to stop working was my memory loss. Uh, it basically would make it so I'd be on my, if I was a sales rep and I would be on the phone with a customer and sell them a product and, you know, they'd say, oh, go, sure, put me down for 12 of those, Heather. So I, you know, I'd write it down and then I'd go on to my next product that I was, you know, talking to them about. And then I'd go right back to the product that they just ordered 12 of and had no memory of, of selling it to them. I didn't even remember talking to them about it. And they would say, uh, you know, hey, hey, Heather, I just bought 12 of those. We just talked about that. And I would say, you know, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. And I looked down at my paper, and sure enough, we did. But no memory of it. None. Like, that's scary. When you have no clue, um, <clears throat> it's not always quite so bad. Sometimes we just can't think of the words that we're trying to say. Um, sometimes we just get lost in a conversation. Um, and don't know, you know, where that conversation was going or what we were talking about. And we just, you know, and, and a lot of people have that. I know almost everyone has had that moment, you know, where you, you don't know what you're talking about. I mean, I'm sorry, where you're talking about something and then suddenly you're just like, wait, what was I saying? And then you laugh and it's like, oh, haha, ha, whatever, because everybody has that. But with us, it's different. It happens and we wake up, we know it's a bad day. Um, we know that we're going to have trouble that day thinking and, and talking because we're having a hard time just putting our thoughts together um we're not remembering what you know what happened i, I half the time I, I can't tell you what i ate for breakfast by nighttime because my memory is so bad and it's because of the ms um you know we can write ourselves little post-it notes we can do little stuff like that but ultimately it's not you know there it's not going to really help too much because we you can't write everything you do down i mean it's just impossible so you just have to just have some patience with us when it comes to the memory because it's not something we can tr control um we have no idea that, you know, we just had a conversation with you or whatever the case may be. So if we tell you we don't remember, don't think we're lying to you because science shows you that we don't. I mean, there's a lesion on our brain. It is brain damage. There is nothing we can do. Like, think about that. It's brain damage. It's a lesion, a scar. Lesion is a word for scar on our brain. There is nothing we can do. We just have to deal with it. So be patient with us. Um, know that we're not, we're not, you know, we're not lying to you. We're not trying to you know make anyone feel sorry for us like and I don't try to do that with these videos it's for so people understand you know each symptom that's my goal is to go through each symptom so people know what these symptoms can do to us what each and every symptom is because each and every symptom is part of our disease it is and we don't just get one symptom we have multiple symptoms so every one of these videos that I've made so far I've suffered with um the memory's huge for me. So, uh, like I said, I just want to make a little video, show people, let people know, like, what kind of memory loss we go through, um, what it does to us, how it affects our daily lives. You know, we'll be making dinner and forget a, a 